our new ammonia engine will destroy all EV makers. This might sound far-fetched, but truly, the ammonia engine has the power to change the transportation system. Why do we think so? Because it's the most eco-friendly option available for the EV industry, with the lowest carbon emission ever. You may have already heard this kind of thing about hydrogen combustion engines as well. So why ammonia engines now? Well, hydrogen combustion engines are also one of the best clean energy options. However, there are huge challenges in hydrogen storage and infrastructure development. Plus, hydrogen is quite expensive compared to ammonia. On the other hand, an ammonia engine uses ammonia as fuel, which is cheaper, emitting nitrogen and water as byproducts. So on an industry basis, ammonia engines are more feasible. Let's first check out what this ammonia engine is and why it's such a big deal. So an ammonia engine falls into the category of internal combustion engines that use ammonia as fuel. The cool thing about ammonia is that it doesn't have any carbon atoms, which means when it burns, it doesn't pump out carbon dioxide like regular oil or gas fuels. This little detail makes ammonia engines a pretty promising solution for cutting down pollution in the future. Now, there are a few ways to make these ammonia engines work well. One is to mix ammonia with other fuels like diesel, gas, or hydrogen before setting them on fire together. This mix makes it easier to ignite and keep the fire going. Companies like Man Energy Solutions have used this method to create a special two-stroke green ammonia engine for ships. Another approach involves breaking down ammonia into hydrogen and nitrogen, and then using the hydrogen in a fuel cell to make electricity. There's this startup called Emogy that showed this method using a John Deere tractor, claiming it's the first ever ammonia-powered zero emissions tractor in the world. The third method is using ammonia as the main fuel. This one needs fancy technology like spark ignition or compression ignition. Ammonia engines are super promising because ammonia holds a lot of energy in a small space. That means it's really good for storing and moving energy around efficiently. And you know where that comes in handy? Industries like transportation and power generation, where using energy effectively is a big deal. The best part about ammonia is that it's everywhere. You can make it from hydrogen and nitrogen, which are pretty common elements in the air. So that's why Toyota's jumping on the ammonia engine bandwagon, because it's a sustainable energy solution that's easy to get a hold of. You know, Toyota's not entirely sold on the whole all-electric car future, but they're gearing up to release a few electric vehicles. Interestingly, their subsidiary GAC Group, which they partially own, did something pretty impressive. They developed the world's first engine for passenger vehicles that run on ammonia. According to the Ammonia Energy Association, Toyota has been dabbling in ammonia alternative fueling options for quite some time. Toyota's gone all in on this idea. They've partnered with GAC, a Chinese manufacturer, and together they've shown off this prototype engine that runs on liquid ammonia. It's a pretty big deal. Claiming their 2-liter four-cylinder engine can crank out 161 horsepower while slashing carbon emissions by a whopping 90%. That's a huge deal for the future of cars and the environment. But of course it wasn't all smooth sailing for Toyota. They faced challenges while building this ammonia-powered engine, like handling combustion pressure and reducing nitrogen emissions. Overcoming these hurdles, especially efficiently burning ammonia, was a big win for the engineers making it possible to use this alternative energy source in passenger cars. We've overcome the pain point of ammonia being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. Ki Hong Zong from GAC's research and development centers told reporters, its value to society and for commercial uses are worth anticipating. According to a report from Bloomberg, this is the groundbreaking engine out there that's making waves. It packs a punch with a peak power output of 120 kilowatts giving it a strong edge over other fuel options. But what's impressive is its green credentials, as it significantly cuts down on carbon emissions compared to traditional fuels. Now let's talk about the growing interest in using ammonia as a low-carbon fuel. It's gaining momentum, but there are a few hurdles to clear. For one, ammonia can be a bit tricky to ignite compared to regular fossil fuels, and its combustion process is slower, making it a bit more challenging to use it as an alternative fuel source. So while ammonia-powered engines have a lot of potential, it's clear that they still need some work to be ready for widespread adoption by automakers. Here's something interesting. Toyota has a significant stake in the company behind this innovative ammonia engine. Toyota is all about clean transportation, 
using a mix of alternative fuels and electric vehicles, like their hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, the Mirai. They're even testing hydrogen-powered combustion engines in motorsports. With Toyota's forward-thinking approach and investment, we might see ammonia-fueled power plants in places like China as the technology evolves. But honestly, ammonia isn't new in the game. It's mainly used in agriculture as a fertilizer and has applications in various industries like explosives, dyes, plastics, and chemicals. So it's accessible and could become a game changer in the world of alternative fuels. Challenges exist, but with Toyota and other major players on board, cleaner and more sustainable transportation options might become a reality. Toyota is a big player in China, the largest EV market and even customizes electric vehicles for the region. But their strategy is flexible and their exploration of technologies like ammonia-powered engines fits in with their broad approach. You know, traditional combustion engine vehicles are not yet out of trend. Rather, they still have a strong demand. There's a buzz that the Chinese government might ban the sale of internal combustion engine cars following California's lead. This is where alternative fuels like hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic fuels come in, potentially extending the life of the combustion engine. These options could become cost-effective and eco-friendly, appealing to a wider range of consumers while addressing convenience concerns. It'll be fascinating to see if Toyota's new technology goes from concept to commercial availability and whether it becomes a global player in the evolving Chinese automotive landscape. The idea of using alternative fuel-powered vehicles like those running on ammonia adds an exciting new dimension to our quest for more eco-friendly transportation options. It's worth noting that while GAC and Toyota have made significant strides in developing ammonia engines, there have been previous advancements in this area. About a decade ago, the Korean Institute for Energy Research made waves with the creation of AMVE, a vehicle that ran on a mixture of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline. This pioneering car managed to slash carbon emissions by a whopping 70%. The Amve project was all about exploring the potential of a fully ammonia-fueled engine and showed us that this technology can work. Now GAC's engine uses liquid ammonia as fuel, which could potentially lead to carbon dioxide emissions. To address this, they might need to mix ammonia with another fuel to improve flame propagation speed. And there's a challenge on the horizon for GAC and Toyota if they plan to introduce ammonia engines. The lack of an ammonia-fueling infrastructure but you know what they say, necessity is the mother of invention, so this could be an opportunity for some real innovation. These ammonia engines hold the promise of a more sustainable automotive industry with reduced carbon emissions. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Ammonia engines do produce high levels of nitrogen oxide emissions, and they have a slow flame propagation speed, which can impact combustion efficiency and power output. To tackle these issues, we'd need a lot of research and development. One more thing to consider is that the current ammonia production relies on the environmentally impactful Haber-Bosch process, and ammonia's cost and availability are stumbling blocks for it to become a mainstream automotive fuel. We'll need to invest in infrastructure and find more efficient production methods. To support ammonia-powered vehicles, a substantial network of fueling stations with safe storage and distribution capabilities would be required. Transporting ammonia to these stations using tanker trucks and trains raises safety considerations. Ammonia's corrosiveness and danger to the human body add another layer of concern. While it doesn't ignite like conventional fuels, its potential for harm in accidents involving ammonia-powered vehicles is worrying. Bloomberg NEF analyst Colin Makaracha noted in a statement that it isn't going to take off. It's all a bit of fantasy. Ammonia is hellish to handle, he said. I can't see it taking off in passenger cars. However, ongoing research, tech advancements, and partnerships like GAC and Toyota can overcome limitations in ammonia-powered vehicles, driving innovation and greening the automotive industry. So do you think this innovation will challenge electric vehicle makers? What are your thoughts on the future of sustainable transportation? Share your comments below and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting updates in the automotive industry. Thanks for watching.